Salute, 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 peoples. Welcome to the Real Big Fruit Podcast. Shout out to St. Lies, Puerto Rican Mikey with the LG story. That boy's the men popped off yesterday. Uh, 5,000 views overnight. I appreciate the viewers. Y'all show love all the time. I appreciate that. That's what's up. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, the second part of that boys the men got a little spicy with that Brooklyn Bronx shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to repeat myself and give y'all a little full, full more details about how shit went down. Strictly because L Famous. L Famous the homie. Check out the L Famous uh YouTube. That's the homie. But I see he came back at me again first thing this morning with some crazy shit with another uh another YouTube segment. Uh reading off things that he heard or what people told him. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the BX. But BK beat the borough. Uh, what can I say, man? Uh, I guess we're going to keep going back and forth. Because uh, I got a clip full, bro. Straight jagged. I got a clip full when it comes to that Brooklyn Bronx shit. You know what I'm saying? And L Famous is running with it. So I'm going to put Brooklyn on my back and I'm going to keep answering the bell for the borough. So... Uh, Shout out to Killer. He ain't got to do no talking. Shout out to anybody else whose name get dropped in that L Famous shit. I got your back. I'm going to hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Because I was there. You know what I'm saying? And for the shit that I wasn't there for, I don't know if y'all know, but in Brooklyn, especially in Bed-Stuy, we got pay phones in the hood. We kept pay phones in the hood. So in my hood, you knew what the fuck was going on on Ragged Island before you got there. So all them niggas' names in the Bronx who did what they did or whatever, I knew who the fuck they were. Before I got there. So when I got there, I was on point. That's just what it was in Brooklyn. We had pay phones, niggas from the Allen calling the pay phones, giving war stories, telling you what's going on, it's that third. You know what it is. So when I speak in reference to things that took place when I wasn't there, it's because I was informed by the niggas who was involved with it so I could be on point. And when I got there, I was on point. So no cap in here. There's no cap in here. I'm not making shit up. I'm not giving you false information. If I tell you it's something I heard, I'm telling you what the nigga told me, and I responded off of what they told me. So I'm in the mix, straight jacket. But once again, man, so BK be the borough, man. And um, if L Famous want to keep going back and forth with this shit, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to keep responding. But uh, I will give L Famous his props. He's doing better research. He's doing better research. You know what I'm saying? He's getting facts. So I'm not going to dispute some of his facts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to elaborate on some of his facts and tell you why it happened, how it happened. Because those are things he don't know. Those are things people leaving out. When I say people, meaning the people that's giving him this information. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. But like I said, I'm going to keep answering that shit. You know what I'm saying? L Famous going to keep going back and forth. I'm answering that shit. You know what I'm saying? I jumped on YouTube with my boy Puerto Rican Mikey and St. Laz with the LG story. It just so happened that Laz let it be known that his page, his platform was for Rackets Allen stories. So in order for me to get the LG story off, I had to contribute to his Rackets Allen stories. And trust me, I could do this shit for days, bruh. I could do this shit for days, and it won't be no capping. It won't be no capping. Shout out to Rado Strato off of NA Rock. I see he about to blast off Saturday. I'm definitely looking forward to that. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a great storyteller because I know that boy from the street. That boy been a slick talking motherfucker since we, we was in public school, elementary school. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, hearing what he got to share. You know what I'm saying? I hope he don't leave nothing out. And if he forgets something, I will remind him. Know what I'm saying? I hope he got his facts right. Because I remember some things. I'm going to let him rock out because that's the homie. I'm going to let him rock out. I'm listening. Shout out to Rado Strato and they rock. Uh, shout out to St. Laz, boy. Woo! You, you on fire, homie. You on fire. Know what I'm saying? What you got? J.I. Ryder the day. Shot Wells the ball. Yeah. Yeah. It's lit. St. Laz, you lit. But uh, once again, I want to shout the viewers out and say thank you for all the love and support. Y'all was on it. Y'all still pushing it right now. We over 5K, less than 25, 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? The LG story. 
uh, season two, my episode, Boys the Men, slash more BK, BX bullshit, because that's what it really was. We was a bunch of young adolescents trapped in the belly of the beast. Police, police played a major part in a lot of shootouts, you know what I'm saying? And we responded to our environment, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I'm proud to say 30 years later we could talk about this shit, even though a little feelings get involved and niggas get upset about it, but I'm still here, I'm still proud enough to say, after 30 years, I'm able to say to you, I talk to Killer, I talk to Rambo. I talk to Killer, I talk to Rambo. Ain't neither one of these niggas worried about this shit. The only thing they saying is, they got it on, it is what it is. Now, of course, BK gonna say, Killer did what he did. And the BX gonna say, Rambo did what he did. I chose to say what I said because a nigga straight lied and said, them niggas ain't never shake out. That was my problem. That was my motherfucking problem. So shout out to Killer. Shout out to John Rambo. Y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was two good opponents. Y'all shook out. Y'all did what y'all had to do. And to this day, I respect how y'all two motherfuckers is grown ass men. And y'all not letting this shit get under y'all skin. Y'all just letting us have fun with it. Rather letting me have fun with it because I'm enjoying this shit. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? I respect how y'all two are just being classy gentlemen and accepting this shit for entertainment for what it is. And that's what y'all little motherfuckers out there need to know. This shit just entertainment, bro. John Rambo and Killer ain't trying to get arrested tomorrow and go to Ragged Island and, and relive that shit. So it's just entertainment for those who were there. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole BK. Shout out to the whole BX. You know what I'm saying? Because all this shit is just entertainment. Niggas is 30, 35 years older now. Everybody pushing 50 or in the early 50s. Like, this shit is just entertainment. We laugh and joke about this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all don't know. See, L Famous on the phone with the wrong people. He on the phone with the wrong people. But I'm gonna let him get his shit off because he repping the BX. Shit, he the only motherfucker repping the BX right now. And he wasn't in the war. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody from the BX war on, the, on YouTube repping saying they was dead and, and this is that and the third. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna rep BK. I was dead. I fired some shots. I told you about two of them. But I got a whole lot more. To be truthful, I should have been in motherfucking handcuffs back then. Because I was letting it loose. El Famous and got me riled up. He got me in my bag. I only told you about two of them shootings. I'm going to keep going, El Famous. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Real talk. But don't get me wrong. I wasn't the baddest nigga in the world, too. Because if I'm going to keep talking about the shots I fired, I'm going to talk about the shots that was fired on me. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? El Famous mentioned Lil Bob today. You know what I'm saying? Out of the BX. He was a BX rapper. Lil Bob scratched me on my eyebrow. You know what I'm saying? Lil Bob got up on me. Not, 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 not because me and him had a beef, but he got up on me. You know what I'm saying? He tried to go at one of my mans. I jumped in. Whatever we shook out, he nipped me. Bullshit. I ain't even get a scrap, uh, stitch. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, like I said, I wasn't the baddest motherfucker. Uh, another nigga, he sent the nigga at me. Either the nigga was scared or his burner was dull because he didn't get the job done. I ended up getting poked the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get to that. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't the baddest nigga in the world. Niggas was getting that fruit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I was sending niggas back. Or I, or I was putting niggas in KCH, one or the other. Straight jacket. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that since El Famous won't let this shit die down. You know what I'm saying? He won't let it go, bro. Don't think I'm on here <laughs> starting trouble. I'm not doing that. But I'm, I'll am i be damned. If a nigga gonna be telling these Ragged Island stories and my name is in the mix and I ain't checking shit, I'm gonna make sure shit right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to El Famous. You know what I'm saying? That's the homie. Shout out to St. Lash. You know what I'm saying? You the GOAT. You know what I mean? Shout out to all the other YouTubers that I fucks with. You know what I'm saying? 50, oh, 50 The Movement, Harlem Legend TV, my homie Ten Toes Down. You know what I'm saying? I fucks with them. You know what I'm saying? And, and without question, the big homie Doggy Diamonds. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm, we, we trying to take it there. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Uh, once again, the viewers, we are nothing without you. We are nothing without you. So shout out to the viewers that support St. Last, the LG story, Big Fruit, Puerto Rican Mikey, LG Rock On, NA Rock, Fort Green in the building. Y'all know how we do. Brooklyn, Brownsville. Yeah, I'm in my bag, sir. I'm in my bag. I'm in my bag. Real talk.
know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get up out of here. I ain't gonna hold y'all long. Cause I'm I'm spoiling things. I'm I'm doing too much talking, telling y'all all the shit I'm about to give last. And I shouldn't be doing that. So y'all stay tuned. And don't be biased. Don't just ride with BK because it's, it's cool. Don't ride with the BX just because it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't be biased. Just enjoy the stories, bro. Enjoy the stories. You know what I'm saying? A lot of hitters out of the Bronx. They did their thing. A lot of hitters out of BK. We did our thing. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Stay tuned.